everybody in here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you, trying to stay warm. I'm just looking. I haven't even looked in the mirror yet today. See if I got any soot or anything on my nose or my face. It is cold. I wore this to bed last night. And, of course, I had my hoodie up, too. I wore these all night last night. And, oh, it kept me so warm. So, thank you so much, Karen. Can you see my breath? Yeah, and I actually don't feel that cold right now because for the first time, I kept my buddy heater on all night last night. I kept it on on low, but I just figured I just got to keep it going because it is it, it then it's just too, too hard to try and get it uh, heated back up in here. So it's still going. I'm going to have to get some more propane. I almost wish I had bought another new bigger tank, but um, I don't know if I could carry it or not. I'm not sure. I've just got the 20 pound you know, the, the 20 pound bulk tank, I guess you call them. Anyhow, um, I want to show you something real quick. <laughs> this is kind of interesting and it's probably a lot more frustrating for other channels that are a lot bigger than mine, but, um, somebody tried to steal one of my videos and, uh, it's because of YouTube that I found out. So here, let me show you some screen caps and explain it all to you. This is the video that was stolen. It has 15K views. It is either one or two on the search page for you cut on YouTube. And a lot of people are still watching it. It has a lot of good information in it. So this one dude, uh, I think he's from India, decided he was just going to take the whole video, screenshot and all, start to finish with my intro and outro and post it on his YouTube channel, thinking that that was okay. So this is how I found out. I opened up my email and this is what I found. Frustrated by re-uploads of your content. Good news. With the new copyright match tool, we'll automatically find content on YouTube that matches your own. You simply review the matches, blah, blah, blah. Check it out. I clicked on the check it out link and then was led to this page. When you click on the link, you'll be led to this page. Now, in the body down here in the middle, that's where all the information is about the video that somebody basically stole from you and is posting it on their own channel. Since I already reported this when I screen capped it, the information isn't there, but rest assured there's a link in there that you click on that leads you to another page where you put in a bunch of information and uh, just follow the instructions and then that starts the removal process. Once you report it, you're going to get an email from YouTube that looks like this. And if you look down towards the bottom there, it shows the timestamps of where your content appears in the video that is on their page. He just took my whole video, but if he had only taken a portion of it, YouTube is still going to provide you with the timestamps of where your content appears within their new recreated video, giving you a choice of whether or not you want to, you know, copyright strike them. A little later on that very same day, YouTube sent me another email letting me know that the offending content had been removed. And what this results in is basically him getting a copyright strike. He had no right to do that. He didn't even give me attribution at all. So uh, I read the email. I was happy with that. And I decided to go back to my copyright section of my creator studio area and uh, just kind of check and see what things look like from there. Here we are back in the channel copyright section of my YouTube studio. I have clicked on the second link for removal requests. And as you can see, if you look over to the right, it's been resolved. The video has been removed, but it gives you basically all the information that you're going to see under the matches link. Uh, he put his own title there for his video. Um, it gives the channel information. If you click on this link right here, it takes you to his channel and check this out. This is the dude. No, Phil Senthal, you are not entitled to my video. I don't know what gave you the idea that it's okay. I can only assume that the rest of his content is also basically stolen from other people. But I'm glad to see that my video is no longer showing up on your page. Don't do it again. You only get three strikes and then you're out, brother. You're out. You're out of YouTube. Now, I don't think the guy made any money off of it. He's only got 67 subscribers and I think that there was under 100 uh views of my video on his channel so but still you know um youtube is basically how i make a living right now seriously that's how i make a living so you know even the smallest infringements i mean if there's a bunch of them they can add up so i'm hoping that this will be helpful to the rest of you who have youtube channels make sure you go down um, on the menu the left hand side of your youtube studio go to the copyright sign 
click that on and make sure that YouTube hasn't found any matches of your content because I know you work hard on it just like I do and you deserve to be recognized for that content, not some random dude from wherever, you know, on YouTube. Anyway, um, I made a couple changes, just very slight ones, and I want to show you something that is complete garbage that I don't want you to get. And uh, so, yeah, let me go grab that right now. See this thing? I had connected it to my sink, put a long tube on the end of it, and I thought it was going to be the best thing since sliced bread, but it isn't. It has totally stopped working. It doesn't pump water at all anymore. Um, I don't know if it's the seal. I don't know what the deal is, um, but there's plenty of tubing. It's always down at the bottom of the tank. Um, and this is basically garbage. Um, I thought it was going to be cool, but um, it's a lot of work to be able to, to do this. Um, and it just wasn't working. So no, I pulled it completely out of the sink and I'm using something else. Yeah, something much more simple. Now, I watch this guy named Luke Fugit, um, and I'll leave a link down below so you can go check out his channel. He's building a tiny house from ground up, and it is absolutely amazing. It is stunning. It is, I, I can't believe that he's done it so fast, but um, on his sink, on one end, he's using a little USB touch thingy, um, and it has a pump. You can recharge it and everything, and it works beautifully, and I had thought about ordering one of those, but you know what? I think I'm going to stick with something even more basic. So let me show you what it is. It is, it's groundbreaking. It's a mess back here, but I have reinstituted the use of my blue, <laughs> my blue big tub thingy. And uh, I'm not going to show you the bottom of the sink because it's messy down there. Um, it just has a little spout. It is up on this crate right here that it needs to be dusted. I just put it up there. Um, it's been outside and you just open that up and the water just goes right in and it's a nice big jug. I won't have to move it around too very often because, well, it's got like seven gallons in it. So, and I got it right by the Berkey here. So that's great. Oh, and I also did want to show you, um, because of the, the moisture and whatnot, I went ahead and got this little cheapy, um, red Buffalo check, uh, what do you call it thing? Um, tablecloth and just put it down there. It goes, well, there's actually two. I'm using two of it. And it's plastic. It, it wipes off easy. It goes down behind the sink over there. Sorry, everything's such a mess right now. But um, so it protects the insulation from moisture and whatnot. So yeah, this is low tech. It's what I'm staying with. And that's all there is to it. So for the rest of today, I'm probably just going to go around and do some arranging, find some spots for some things. And um, I might do something to this window because a lot of cool air comes in. Um, it's going to be down, uh, by, by Monday, it's going to be down to nine degrees and the temperature is not going to rise up even to freezing, I don't think, for a while. So we've got another week of this really cold, frigid weather here, at least another week. Um, and what I consider cold, frigid is when it gets down into the teens. That's really cold, especially when there's no relief throughout the day. It's still very cold all day long. So I imagine I'm going to have to make at least one more trip to Tractor Supply to get some more propane. That's okay. Um, got to bring some more wood in. Uh, today I've got to filter some water. i got to fill up that big blue jug and uh, just make sure that I have plenty of non-frozen water inside the tiny house because everything is freezing outside. I haven't even checked on the chickens yet, so I'm going to go do that in a little bit, but I won't show you that. I mean, maybe every other day I'll, I'll give you some chicken TV. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, Staying surprisingly warm in here. I know that I can make it through a winter, even under the conditions that I have right now with this tiny house not being finished on the inside. But I did get some good news. Uh, last night, I may be having somebody, um, my son, <laughs> come down and um, hopefully if he could get off work, uh, come down and help me, maybe cut down some trees and maybe finish out some stuff in here. And also, I am planning some kind of get-together um, I'm hoping, well, I know Donna, I know Donna and le at least one of her daughters, I, I mean, it would be great if she could bring all three, will be down here to drop Judy back off, um, in the spring, um, like end of April, beginning of May or something like that. Um, and I'm hoping that we can get a few more people, maybe, maybe Darlene, Doreen, Darlene, maybe Doreen, maybe Teresa, maybe you know, a few of you others could come and just see what we can get done on the inside of here. 
and get it finished. Um, or maybe even just have a nice little visit and whatnot. Um, my parents, my dad, my mom and dad bought a tent and they showed me a picture of it and it's really cool. They want to come and pitch a tent out here when the weather turns fair and kind of camp out with me a little bit. So that would be kind of cool. Anyway, I just keep jabbering and jabbering all day long. Um, I think I'm going to shut this down now. And that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.